Now we know that algae are usually broadly classified based upon their pigments because this is uh, visible to us. But we also classify algae based upon their cellular organization. That is how their cells are organized. We classify them based upon their cellular organization into three types. The unicellular algae, the, the filamentous algae and the colonial algae. The unicellular algae are uh, those um, algal species which lives as single organisms. For example, euglena. Euglena lives as in pond water or in a lake's water. All of the euglena, the uh, euglena organisms we can say, um, lives as single organisms and these are microscopic. Chlamydomonas is another example. Then comes the filamentous algae. Filamentous algae are the multicellular algae which lives or which makes long filaments which are mostly septated, which have septa. Here in the diagram you can see a filamentous algae called spirogyra. This is a very common algae of um, uh, the ponds near Lahore and uh, in, in mostly Pakistan and many areas of the world. So the filamentous algae, they appear under microscope just like long thin filaments. Then comes the colonial algae. Look at a picture. It shows you ball box. A very another very common algae uh, which is um, uh, present in uh, most of the ponds water, in um, water of the lakes. Wall box makes rounded circular colonies and uh, the daughter colonies, the newer cells, grows inside the parent colony that is the larger colony. Uh, and when they grow to a specific size, then they are released from the colony and they make their own mature large colony. So based upon the cellular organization, we divide algae into th three groups, unicellular algae, the multicellular and filamentous algae and the colonial algae. Now about the distribution and significance of algae. Though we already talked about different kinds of algae, but we summarize it. Algae are widely distributed all over the world. Green algae being the most abundant form of algae upon earth, present in almost all types of water bodies. Red algae are mostly distributed in uh, the marine waters. Uh, the brown algae are also mainly distributed in marine waters. Golden algae are uh, almost exclusively marine. They are present in the waters of ocean. They are very important for us because they reduces the greenhouse effect. They utilize carbon dioxide whenever they are present in, in uh, no matter which type of environment they are present. They utilize the carbon dioxide gas uh, and convert this carbon dioxide gas into carbohydrates for, as their own food. In this way, they reduce carbon dioxide from the environment. And secondly, when they carry out photosynthesis, just like plants, they release oxygen in the environment. So, and, you, and we know that oxygen is a necessary gas, uh, which is required by the animals and other organisms for their respiration, for their life processes. Red algae, these are um, used to produce different types of uh, uh, products includes cosmetics and uh, certain types of uh, foods. The brown algae, uh, they, are, uh, they are specifically uh, used for making agar that is from weeds um, and they are also used from, for some uh, salad dressings, some types of um, uh, these uh, brown alga, they are also used as salad dressings, the small parts um, are used in foods. Then the golden brown alga, they are, algae, they are very important. They are used in uh, making some petroleum products. Euglenoids, they are important at their place because they are the main producers of the uh, freshwater ecosystems. Uh, so in the freshwater ecosystems, euglenoids have to carry out photosynthesis uh, and without them, other organisms, animal like protists or fish and the other organisms not survive. Algal blooms. This is a common term that we hear in the seasons whenever when the 
uh, organic matter when the inorganic uh, uh, say carbon dioxide and sunlight is available to um, uh, a good extent then algae they in, a, in specific season grow very well uh, and they appear as a very beautiful scums or surfaces upon the waters we call them algal blooms so it means that algae are very important producers in many of the food chains and the food webs in ecosystem they convert sunlight into energy into carbohydrates and they help in reducing the greenhouse effect by absorbing the carbon dioxide from environment they are as used as human diet alternatives that is uh, in place of gelatin their gelatin like materials and agar are used weeds are past parts of uh, many salads some algae are used to make certain specific tastes in the ice creams other materials from algae are also used in making some desserts that is um, the sweets sweets of uh, specific kinds and agar as uh, we previously talked about is the most important material for different types of microbiological preparations whenever have we have to grow a microorganism on a solid surface we have to convert our medium into a gel with the help of agar you can see uh, in the picture an agar plate on which microorganisms bacteria are growing and we know that growing bacteria is extremely important because some bacteria there are lot many bacteria which produces um, these different types of diseases in human beings in animals and plants and there are different types of bacteria which are beneficial for us for example the bacteria which um, produces yogurt for us the bacteria which produces different types of antibiotics uh, and some other uh, important products like uh, some hormones insulin so agar is is a very useful material uh, which is extracted from the uh, brown algae the sea weeds algal biofuels this is uh, one of the very important alternatives of uh, the fossil fuels which are uh, thought to be uh, we think that they are going to be finished in um, coming years and uh, in the world this is one of the most important type or kind of researches that we need some fuels from biological materials we know that algae they are widely distributed they grow very fast and they grow very well and from algal biomass we can extract biodiesel and we can extract ethanol um, and we know that ethanol is an inflammable material and we can use it into petrol engines for uh, running our vehicles even in united states from ethanol um, some aeroplanes uh, could also be flyed so algae are the potential source of biofuels in near future so this was about the algae one of the most important producers on the planet earth and they make various products for us